Here we are in the great New Zealand wilderness. Today, I will be travelling to Taranoti to in front of the endangered species named the Golden Striped Gecko. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sir David Attenborough, and I am joined here with my guest, Mr. William Paul, from Francis Douglas Memorial College. Lovely to meet you, William. You too, David. I'm currently here to look at um, this enclosure made by Francis Douglas Memorial College's future problem-solving team regarding the preservation of a species native to Taranaki, the golden striped gecko. Let's come and have a look at the enclosure, David. So right here is the first feature, the basking area. It uses materials like tiles and pipes and bricks to retain the sun and so that they can come and have a nice warm area that they can relax. I see that it is mostly comprised of recycled materials, so I commend you on that, Mr. William. Thank you very much. Uh, all throughout this enclosure, you can see that we have a lot of shelter from fruit trees such as avocados and pijoas, and this helps them to not be exposed to the elements all of the time. Through here, we have a lot of sticks and logs, and this is a breeding ground for the insects such as slaters, for the geckos to come and eat when they are hungry. And the last feature is a fog area, which is a miniature wetland for the geckos to come after they have been relaxing in the bog area to cool down and get their body temperature lower. Cool. So here we are with the golden gecko boys of Francis Douglas. I see Clayton on your display board you have a picture of a gecko in a shoe. Could you please explain that further? Well, David, uh, that right there was our light bulb moment. That's what started our whole project off. One morning, I was running late, I went to put my shoes on, and I uh, nearly squashed it. I uh, took a photo of it, ran back to the group, updated them, and after some further research, we found out that it's a gold strike picker. Wow, that is very interesting. And then after some further research, we found out that it was a endangered species, and then we just decided to protect our local gecko. Wonderful. That was bright. That was bright. But over my extensive career as a zoologist, I have never encountered a species called the golden striped gecko. Uh, is there some sort of publicity issue around this gecko? Indeed there is. Uh, throughout New Zealand, there's many native species that are endangered, that need our help, but the golden striped gecko, however, seems to be overlooked by our more fluffy and cute creatures and animals such as the kiwi and after all us as a country are called kiwis and even online it's hard to find research even about the gecko. Mm, yes. So I see you have been calling it the golden striped gecko yep. but do you happen to know the scientific name for this creature? Um, I'm pretty sure it's Woodworthia criteria. Ah, uh, do you mean the Woodworth criteria? Uh, um, yeah, I think that might be it, David, but do you know how to spell it? Uh, well, um, I believe it starts with W. Uh, let's just cut that thing. So, I see on your display board you have a photo of uh, Taranaki. Uh, why is that and not a photo of the whole of New Zealand? Um, well, Miss Attenborough, um, that's actually because the golden shark gecko is only found in Taranaki and nowhere else in the world. Very interesting. Uh, so you've mentioned that the uh, golden striped gecko is very endangered. Uh, why is this? Um, because the golden striped gecko has many predators, as you can see on this board. They have rats, mice, parrots, stoats, but worst of all, there's the cat. Did you know, recently, we actually found the cat that had 17 lizards and geckos inside of it. Wow. That is uh, incredible and must be devastating to the Golden Strait Gecko population. Uh, what are you doing about this problem? Um, well, me and another member of our group started tr planting traps around the school to start hunting out these populations of predators. Uh, so far, we have only mainly caught rats and mice, and we did also catch a stoat, but that is all so far. So I understand uh, the residents of where I'm staying, there was a brochure uh, about uh, keeping my cat in at night. Uh, was that 
uh, from yes. this Golden State Gecko project. Yes, we actually have been sent out a lot of these brochures around Taranaki and especially around Barrett's Domain where there is a large population of the Golden Strike Geckos so that um, owners of cats would keep their cats indoors so that they could hunt the population of Golden Strike Geckos. That is uh, very good, I think. Well done on your brochure. Uh, good afternoon, Ruben. Um, I have just one question. When I have been walking around this enclosure, I uh, fail to recall ever seeing a golden striped gecko. Uh, could you please explain why are there no geckos that I can visibly see? So alongside most New Zealand native geckos and skinks, they are all nocturnal, meaning obviously they are active in the night and they sleep in the day. Wonderful. So uh, I suppose when I'm walking around, I have to listen for some snoring. Yes. From my professional opinion, it looks like this is a very well constructed habitat. How are you going to gauge the effectiveness this project has on the wider community? So we'll know when this project has been effective, when not only the gecko species thrive in our Francis Douglas habitat, but all across Taranaki. Thank you very much David for coming to the Almighty Taranaki, uh, my pleasure. And that concluded my journey of Taranaki. I've learned a lot about the golden striped gecko species and highly commend the group on their continued efforts.